Howdy y'all, Drew Wayne here. And as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be making a tier list. And that tier list is going to consist of basically all the planes and helicopters that are in Kerbal Space Program 1. If you notice, this video is probably gonna be a little bit on the long side because I'm gonna test each and every one of these aircraft and decide uh, on the spot what tier they belong in. So, um, without further ado, let's get up in here. We already got a game going, and we got the first contender. This is gonna be the Ares 3A, and we are going to go ahead and launch this bad boy. So we are loaded up here in the Ares 3A. We're gonna take off here. It's uh, picking up speed pretty quick. Let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah, it takes off really quick. Real easy to get off the ground. You just barely push back on the stick and it, or you know, push down on the uh, the keyboard. It's almost too obnoxious. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit the bridge in this thing. It's too twitchy, too twitchy. Hope you don't mind the terrain glitches. Uh, I don't have very many mods on right now. Okay, let's see if I can get lined up here. We are cooking. Oh, no. Yeah. There was no way I was going to make it over that building and then also down below the bridge. That was my bad. I should have kind of went with more of that angle. I think that concludes that test. What am I going to rate that? We will rate it. I mean, it was pretty maneuverable, pretty fast. Um, we'll go ahead and put that in the A tier. I think that scored pretty high on the list. So the next one is going to be the Ares 4A. So we are loaded up here, and let's go ahead and get this thing off the ground. I notice it's a space plane, so I guess we could take it to space. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Oh, look at that speed. Yeah, that speed's already cooking. Let's get it going pretty fast, and then we'll get it at like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, going, going fast as fuck. A little shaky, a little shaky. Let's go ahead and rocket our way. Let's see. Let's see how it handles punching through the atmosphere. God damn, this thing's quick. We're gonna uh, we're gonna ignite that aero spike and see how much work it could do. Maybe do a little bit of a of a gravity turn here. And we got we got quite a bit of velocity going, making our way. We, wow, we are high as fuck. I didn't realize how much uh, altitude we gained in that short distance. Okay. 78, 84, not bad. It could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. So here we are, we are, in that short distance, we are in space. I mean, damn, it's almost like it was a rocket. That was a pretty impressive performance there. Oh, see, yeah, and the cabin's heating up. That's kind of scary, kind of spooky. We still have a lot of speed to shut off. It's really hard to keep this thing stable. Especially pointed at such an extreme downward angle. Oh my goodness. This is essentially what it would look like to be the shuttle, except uh, probably a little bit more extreme. It kind of falls more than it, it glides. Look at that. Smooth landing. Couldn't even see the shadow. I call that a win. That one was uh, pretty good. That was an A. I think that actually kind of uh, takes the spot. We may have to put an S. I mean, it's a that was pretty pretty solid plane right there. You can make it all the way uh, around the Earth and that. Um, and you could do it pretty quickly. So I'll put that nest here. If you disagree, you could let me know in the comments. Uh, tell me uh, how trash my opinion is. <laughs> and we'll move on. Albatross. I can already tell this is gonna be a slow one. Kind of get it. Oh, and it's a glitchy boy too. So I can't really speed up time. We're just gonna have to ride this one out. Yep, this is boring. So we're just gonna direct it. Kindly direct it where it belongs. Sorry, Jeb. Oh, well Jeb survived. So that was good. That just served as padding. Okay. Albatross, boring. You're going in F tier. First F tier of the video. Let's go ahead and move on. We are on to the arrow. No control. Okay, let's get some people in here. We need... 
Jeb, of course, and then Val. Because honestly, like second to second to Jeb, in my opinion, is Val. You got Jeb, you got Val, and then you got Bob, and then Bill. Bill's always the one I think everybody shits on. Sorry. If your name's Bill, I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes. Bob's a more masculine name than Bill. <laughs> I don't know what the reasoning is. So let's go. Okay, so we're we're in this thing and we're just gonna kinda twirl around here. This thing's got excellent pitch authority. Like holy crap. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it to the bridge. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Oh goodness. Oh. I, that could have been avoided. That could have definitely been avoided if I didn't hit W. That was pretty dumb of me. I think it was cool. Uh, I'll put it in the B tier. I wouldn't say it was amazing or anything. Okay, so the next one, what was that? Arrow E. Next one's gonna be the dove. Let's just see how fast we can get this motherfucker to go. Oh, oh. Took off a little early, but that's okay. Let's get as much speed as we can, and then we're just gonna yank the stick up. And then Q Freebird. Like, holy hell. This thing may just burn itself up. And if it does, I approve of this message. Let's keep it in the thick parts. Three, two, one, yank. Ah, uh, that was actually anticlimactic. I mean, we, we did hit some crazy G's there, but honestly, that was pretty boring. I was, I was expecting it to fall apart. Well, it's almost like it's a well put together plane or something. I'm gonna shut off that speed. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see if we can bang out a landing here. Not hit that mound of grass. Oh, it wasn't the uh, smoothest landing, but it, uh, it was something. Oh. Couldn't avoid that, though. <laughs> I needed some kind of crash to make that a little bit more interesting. It was pretty boring. But it does go pretty fast. It, it rips it. Would I put it in the S tier? No, I'd probably just put it in the A tier. It was pretty cool. Um, if you want to go fast, that's a good plane for it. All right, next, uh, that was the dove. Uh, we're gonna go with the goal. Hell, this thing you could probably land on top of the VAB. Well, hell, I've seen somebody land bigger planes than this. Here we are. We have a plane. Let's see if we could do something cool with it. Can it do tricks? It can certainly do tricks. It can certainly do tricks. Can't land on the VAB. There we are, we're coming in. Oh, I feel like we're gonna drop like a rock. Oh yeah, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. No, we overshot. Overshot, no. No. Oh, and we killed our Kerbal. I'm sorry, Jeb. We'll revert it so it never happened. Uh, that was kind of boring. I don't know. I think that'll be our C tier. First C tier. Okay, so that was the goal. We're gonna do the quad taxi next. Jeb's quad taxi. Okay. I kind of suck at flying helicopters, so... <laughs> Let's just kind of ease our way up. There we go. Get a little bit of speed going. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going down. We don't want to go down. Okay, if I keep it level, it won't go down. Or if I give it throttle, but I don't want to give it throttle. Oh! And, hey! <laughs> we just did a cartwheel! Hey, that was pretty cool, in my opinion. Quad taxi, um, you're going in F tier. Next! Oh boy! And next is the Kerbodyne Rhododyne. Oh man, another helicopter. Here we go. Get this thing to lift off the ground. Holy crap. It's very responsive, actually. Uh, at least in terms of the controls. That's pretty cool. I feel like you could do like a rescue mission with this guy. I don't know why. It'd be kind of cool to like extend the ladder <laughs> and have 
have a Kerbal, like, have it ho hovering and have a Kerbal, like, climb it, but... Oh, yeah, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man, this thing is, uh, not so fun to control. Let me, uh, lower the throttle a little bit. Maybe that's my problem. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just couldn't- oh man, I don't have enough fingers. I was trying to get to control this- get it to go down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, just not a big fan of the, the helicopters to be honest. What would I rate it? Uh, where's the helicopter? We're gonna rate that. It was better than the quad taxi, so I will put it in D. I will give it the benefit of the doubt. What's next? The mallard. Alright, let's do it. Big plane, tiny wheels. I'm not a big fan of the big cargo planes. The only thing I really use them for is BD Armory. And I don't even use the Mallard. I use the other one that's going to be on this list. Ah! I mean, it's fairly maneuverable. I don't think we're going to be able to, to hit the bridge with this, but I'm going to try. Why? Because there's not really shit else to hit around here. Kerbal 2 at least has a lot more obstacles. That is uh, one thing that I do like about Kerbal Space Program 2 is that Space Center is dope. All right, let's see if we can get this thing in a reasonable position. Oh no, we're gonna hit the dome. Oh no, let's do it. Oh. Yeah, that didn't end. Uh... <laughs> Very well at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I mean, it was better than the glider or the quad taxi, so we'll put it in D tier. What's next? The Osprey. Let's go. The Osprey. Uh, of course, we gotta toggle the mode on this. There can't be using the dry mode on that on that Panther engine. You gotta always use the wet. You gotta use that afterburner. Oh, and you can't even drop these tanks? That's lame. Losing points because of that. Let's get here by the water. Let's just see if we can't rip this thing apart. I mean, it's quick, but it's not, like, super quick. Chink back on that stick. Ooh! That was a spicy turn, though. Okay, so the maneuverability is pretty good. Let's get back over here. Oh, no, this is not going well already. Oh? Oh, no, couldn't make- ah, uh, I just couldn't make it down. Oh, uh, hey, hey, part of it made it through the other side. <laughs> and the kick is good. Hey, woo! <laughs> All right, let's uh, get out of here. Osprey, not amazing. I wouldn't say D, we'll just put it in C. It's, it's quick, but it's not uh, all that great. It's pretty maneuverable though. Okay, moving on. From the Osprey, we're on to the Raven Spear, the Mark I. Let's see what we can do with the Mark I. And already, I don't approve of this message. We need some afterburner up in here. Let's see how quick we can get this bad boy to go. Let's see if we can't rip this thing to shreds here. And... Ooh! Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Oh! Almost ripped it to shreds right there. That was my bad. Ooh, yeah, we are cooking. Oh, getting a little squirrely, getting a little squirrely. Let's just see what happens. Oh, holy crap. That was magnificent. That was everything I uh, could have hoped for. Let's see if we can't slow this puppy down to a respectable speed. Look at that, the helicopter technique. Pulling some G's. How slow can we go? Hey, we survived. Look at that, and the crew cabin disintegrated. So that was probably a good idea that we uh, ejected. Oh, look at Jeb, he broke his neck. Oh no. He's dead. Ha! Uh, Raven Spear Mark 1. It's fast. You can disintegrate it uh, just by pulling up and going uh, really fast. I think that's pretty cool. I put in the B tier. What's next? 
Raven Spear Mark Three. Here we go. All right, there we go. That's some power right there. What we got right here? It looks like there should be something right here. It just kind of looks kind of awkward and empty. Don't you love that glitch right there? Okay, so right off the bat, this is not as fast as the other one, I don't think. Let's just see what we can do with it. We are a haul in, but still not as fast as the other one, though. Okay, we're at 900 meters per second. Let's go ahead and yank. There it goes. Oh, look at those rockets. Holy hell, they, they went flying. Extend ladder, EVA. Climb down here. Let go. <laughs> that was actually a pretty cool shot, I thought. And watch it go down. Wow. That's a long ways down. Uh, what would I rate the Mark III? Uh, Mark III... What would I rate the other one? Did I rate the other one a B? Wow, that's a little high. I would rate this one a B as well. Honestly. We will rate... This one next. The Mark IV! Oh boy, they're getting creative with these names. <laughs> Alright, we got my favorite engine, the Panther. I'm gonna toggle the mode here. And before we completely wreck out on the uh, on the runway there, let's get this thing going. Oh man, look at that speed. Look at that acceleration. Look at it go. Holy hell. Okay, so yeah, this is already a lot quicker than anything that we were doing before. That acceleration was insane. But unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. Sorry, Raven Spear. Yank. Ah, lame, lame. Okay, we're gonna have to try that again. Let's uh, let's get this back. Are we steering with these? We are steering with gimbal. Try it again. Oh, boring. Oh wait, I gotta attach the pitch. There we go. That's still boring. Lame. Okay. Well, in that case. All hatches are obstructed. Oh, so you can't even eject out of this one. Even lamer. Okay. I'm not even going to complete this flight. I've already made my judgment. This one does not get a B like the other ones. This one gets a magical F. Sorry, Raven Spear and whoever made it, but I'm just not interested. I don't like planes that can't maneuver. Not very maneuverable, then it's going to be low on the list. Sorry. Uh, unless it's a big plane, I guess, then that's gonna be a little bit more excusable. Anyways, rocket power VTOL. Let's go! <laughs> I didn't even... I don't even know if it touched the runway. I, I saw it kind of bounce there, so... Kind of hovered for a second. That was pretty funny. Hell yeah, this is cool, but already we're using pretty much all of our fuel. So I'm just gonna cut this flight short. Oh, oh, can we slow down in time? Oh, we were able to prevent a crash. That was surprising. Let's see if I can get it on the pad. Try to keep it constant here. Look at this, this is going to be a soft landing. Or I'm just going to hover around the helipad, I guess. Good enough for me. We'll call that a win. And we use pretty much all our fuel in the process. So that thing was kind of fun to zip around in, but honestly, with that little fuel, uh, I'll put it in D tier. I'll uh, give it the benefit of the doubt, but pretty much, yeah, not not too impressed with it. What's next? Sat launcher. Nope, not gonna do it. That one is god awful, and we are just gonna put it in F tier. I already know where that's gonna go. Next. All right, so we're gonna do the Seahawk. The Seahawk. And hit that one. Let's see what we could do with the Seahawk. Let's go, boing. 
Hell yeah, brother. That was awesome. That was a great first impression. So you can't uh, time warp with uh, propellers, I guess. I kind of forgot about that, but still lame. Not very fun. Yawn. 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 Can it at least go a little? No, it can't even go a little bit faster. Lame. F. Yep, not gonna. No. Not having it. F tier. Not gonna spend any more time on that. The Skywinder. All right, here we go. I'm not sure why this has a parachute on it, but let's just go. It looks like a crazy ass plane though. Not quite the design that I would go with. Oh, well, I guess when you have the, the landing gear up, yeah, it actually looks a little bit cooler. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda has that pod racer feel. You can kinda do some pod racing stuff. Low to the ground like this. This would be fun to do. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we could do some cool stuff. Probably not. But we'll see what we can get away with. Sorry, Jeb. You're a victim! <laughs> yeah, there's no way I was gonna make that. It's all about uh, the, the angle of the dangle, and uh, it was not there. Um, Skywinder, what do I put that at? Ah, uh, it's pretty cool. Would I fly it all the time? No, I'll put it in C tier. And what's next? The Steerwing. Alpha Chat. This thing will carry all of your bombs, carry all your missiles, carry your rovers, carry all the Kerbals. This thing is the OG cargo plane. Not very maneuverable though, as you can see. Um, not much I gotta say about this one. Honestly, it flies kind of terribly, but it... You don't have to worry about fucking up, you know? It keeps everything safe. And uh, it carries everything. I mean, what, what, what more could you ask? It, it does all the heavy lifting. You know, you can't ask for a better plane. This thing just does everything you need it to. And also, big plane means big crashes. <laughs> I think that just proved my point. Rest in peace. Alright, so... The steer wing, I would definitely put that in S tier. I'm sorry, I'm biased. What can you do? Next, the strata launcher. Alright, so this thing I think can put a payload in orbit. Probably even further than that. So we'll just see what we can do with this guy. Pulling that landing gear. Damn, this thing takes off quick. Alright. Okay, so we're about 10,000. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. Kind of squirrely, but if you can get it up to that 45 degree angle, then it is pretty sturdy. Look at that. Holy hell. You can see the plane down there, just like right down there. It's fading out of view. Might not be able to see it with the compression. Go ahead and get a little bit of a G-turn going here. Yeah, this thing hauls ass. Holy hell. Look at that, already made it to space. Three, two, one, fire. Here we are, making our way downtown. Uh, missing our mark a little bit. Get it back on track here. This thing does not have a probe though, so that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Kind of used to it. I'm used to making things that don't have a way to automatically do what they need to do let's turn that other engine on and there you have it we are in an orbit apoapsis periapsis look at that beautiful sat launcher uh i'll put that in s tier honestly i thought i think that was pretty cool that you can launch a payload 
that far with that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty elaborate system, if I do say so myself. On to the next one. The Thunderbird. All right, let's give this thing a test. Of course, that's not good enough for me, so let's go ahead and hit it. And we're going pretty fast, but I mean, yeah, obviously there's faster. Let's drop these tanks and see if we can shut off some more speed. Or weight, I guess. Gain some more speed by shedding off the weight. <laughs> let's see how I can handle the G's. Oh, it can handle the G's pretty well. I would, I would say that was that was pretty impressive. Oh, couldn't make it. Uh, I should have, I should have not quit pulling up. But oh well, we tried. Thunderbird, we're gonna put in a tier. All right, let's check out this Valthopter. Let's go. Well, that's... Oh, okay. Boy, this thing is just a... Shaky mess. What is she doing? Oh, is she on a hinge? Why is she on a hinge? And why is the hinge not locked? Oh my goodness, that seemed to make it worse. Oh no! What if we put no damping in there? Torque limit? All the way down? Oh, everything I've seen to do makes it worse! Oh no! Parachute! Save yourself! Val! Oh no! Save yourself! <sighs> Holy crap. Hell, this makes a better transportation than it does uh, when it's flying. We're gonna put that in... I would say F tier, honestly. It just wasn't that great. It's too floppy. I don't know why. Val is sitting on a hinge, it's pretty dumb. Um, yeah, not not a fan. Alright, now we're on to the last one. The velocities. Okay. Maneuverability is eh, it could be better, but it leaves a little bit to be desired. Oh! No! Can we make it back though? Oh, no. There is no hope. There is absolutely no hope. We're going to put that in D tier. And that's going to be our tier list right there. So I'm going to save this and I'll put a link in the description for anybody who wants to check this out and maybe do your own. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see y'all in the next video.